Okay, so today I'm going to show you how I'm memorizing uh, Romans 13. All right, it's only 14 verses, so this video should be pretty quick, hopefully. Um, so here we go. Uh, let everyone be subject to the governing authorities. So right here, I'll use that for let everyone. Let is a L-shaped net to me. I can't think of anything else. Um, so let everyone uh, be subject. Subject is a book for me. Uh, like a school book, you know, what's your favorite subject? Um, uh, and then governing, governor is Arnold Schwarzenegger, the governor, the terminator. Authorities is uh, police, or you could use um, any any authority that you can figure that you can think of. Okay, so let everyone be subject to the governing authorities is here. Four, so there's a clock here, so I imagine this clock being shown at four o'clock. For there is no authority except is a big X here, this window, it opens it up, and then there's a witch with a hat, that witch, and then God is, uh, I have an image for God, and he's making steps for established. I don't know why stairs is for established. I can't remember why I did that. Established is stairs, okay? And then down here, the authority, so you imagine the policeman on top of this Omni, that exist. And then I could imagine them trying to tell them to exit, telling people to aglet, exit. So the authority, uh, the authorities, the authorities that exist have been established by God. So I can imagine God creating stairs on the bottom as well. So let everyone be subject to the governing authorities for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Okay, and then I'm going, in, this is a restaurant, so the next page is I'm going inside the restaurant, and then I'm going in a big circle, okay, one, oh, this is verse two, three, four, and then I'm coming outside for five, all right, so here we go, let's go back, okay, so consequently, consequently is, so we, there's a game called Sequence that we used to play when I was a kid, um, I still play now, but it, it's a fun game, but anyways, so on this table, I'm playing sequence with a con. So uh, there's a movie called Con Air um, with Nicholas Cage, I believe. But anyways, maybe, he could, or you could just think of a regular, I don't know. Like, yeah, but that's Nicholas Cage playing sequence on here with, with uh, Stormtroopers. So the, wait, yes, Stormtroopers. I know they're not the Rebels, but that's the image that came up. So you could think of the Rebels in Star Wars, all right? Whoever is a Hoover vacuum, so maybe that's here too somewhere. So consequently, oh, they're, they're, yeah, consequently, and then they're vacuuming up the sequence ones. So that's Hoover, whoever rebels against the authority. Uh, you could maybe imagine a policeman here too, is rebelling. So in this spaceship, I don't know, this drawing, I just imagine rebels inside and then God instituted them. So Whoever uh, rebels against the authority is rebelling against God, uh, what God has instituted. And those, so right here is, and is an ant. So there's ants crawling on this wall, toes coming out, and the toes blows. So toes who do so will bring judgment on themselves. So I imagine here, um, Will is sitting there. And then a judge is sitting there. So it's like, so who will bring judgment on themselves? Next one here. So four rulers. So I imagine four of these stands right here. Four and then they're rulers. They look like, you know, just regular rulers. So four rulers hold. So I hold on to that. And then terror for me is either uh, the Tower of Terror or uh, the movie Tremors. There used to be this worm thing. So maybe they pop out of here. For rulers hold no terror for those who do right. And then here, um, I just mentioned it's saying wrong. So there's no terror for those who do right, but for those who do wrong. So on here, it just that's the image that I use. And then right here is a, is like where you can make, uh, I just imagine there's a server here. And then the server is asking, do you want, right? So do you want to be free from uh, fear of the one in authority. The one image is always for me is Jet Li because he did the movie The One, right? 
authority is police. So the the bar, the barista or whatever, the server is saying, hey, do you want to be free from fear of the one in authority? Then do what is right. So outside here, then I'll imagine a hen for then. And then he, the hen is doing the right thing. And then he's being commended for that. So then do what is right and you will be commended. And then right here is for the one. So there's gently with an afro for the one in authority. Oh, he's just like a cop as well. For the one in authority. So gently afro cop, right? Is God's servant for your good. So I just imagine he's God's servant. Maybe you could, uh, maybe you could make an image of a server, a waiter or something. And then they have a Gucci bag or something for your good. And then out here, I just imagine, but if you do wrong, so I imagine I'm in the display case now. Uh, but if you do wrong, be afraid, right? And then this guy, imagine this guy is carrying a sword. I, I can't remember what this guy looks like, but it's, that's for, for rulers do not bear. You can imagine a bear, bury, a bear holding a sword, right? For the rulers do not bear the sword for no reason. Then there's a penguin here. I just imagine him being a, a servant of God. They are God's servant. And then here, I just imagine agents. Agents is the agents from, um, what movie is that? Uh, the Matrix, I think. Yeah. Uh, the Agents of Wrath. So a the, ma the agents from Matrix is wearing a wreath for wrath, right? And then they bring punishment. So punishment, I could imagine the guy, the punisher of the movie, wrongdoer is um gosh is a comedian and he just says wrong uh, uh that <laughs> the way he said it so i just imagine him so he brings punishment the agents are bringing punishment on that guy the wrongdoer okay that's verse four then we go outside verse five so here there's a there's a fork sticking on this poster here so therefore it is necessary necessary is there was a cartoon uh, Baloo from uh, the Jungle Book, right? And they sing that song called it's The Bare Necessities or something. That's the image I have. So the the Baloo is submitting a cop, like choking him out, you know, like jujitsu. Therefore, it is necessary to submit to the authorities. And then in this section here, I just imagine these are not. So not only because of possible punishment, so maybe the Punisher is eating here, not only because B cause is a B just in cause, uh, possible, uh, maybe you could think of mission possible. I really didn't. I'm just in my head, I'm going, hey, I'm not, you know, submitting to the authorities because of punishment, not only because of that. Then I come here, there's a table out here now, but also as a matter of conscience. So I crunch this word B A A A M, right? But also as a matter of conscience. So on here, there, if you, if you're not from the Bible Memory Goal group community, uh, join because there's a bunch of people that uh, I get ideas from. But anyways, there's a guy, uh, Jody Brown. Oh, uh, yeah. Um. Anyways, he has a BAM system. It's B A M. I'll click the. I'll put a link in the description, um, because he does a memory palace and he's an artist. Uh, he's also my, uh, the image that I have for. Character, uh, character, because he's a caricature. So if you watch my uh, verse, uh, um, uh, video on Romans five, I'll, I mentioned him as well. Okay. So, anyways, there's a Bam logo on here. That now I know B A M is it is, but now I'm just gonna add two more A's. So it's B A A A M. That's a logo on here. So Bam is, but also as a matter of matter. Is I imagine the science matter like a it, uh, I don't know it's like an atom, right? And then con science is um, con air guy reading a science magazine. So he's sitting at at this thing here. So therefore, it is necessary to submit to the authorities, not only because of possible punishment, bam, but also as a matter of conscience. All right. The so verse five. Whew, okay, let's keep going. All right, so six is here. Six is this gate. Seven is going to be this yellow car, okay? This is also why you pay tax. So I imagine I'm trying to get into this gate, but I can't because I have to pay the tax. So this is why you also pay taxes for the authorities, Afro uh, authority cop. They are God's servant who they blow in 
and then give their full time to governing, right? Governing, maybe you could end that image with Arnold Schwarzenegger, the governator, okay? And then going to seven, give to everyone what you owe them. Give, uh, I have an image for Gibson. Um, oh, you could think of uh, the Dodgers baseball player, uh, uh, Kirk Gibson? I can't remember. But anyway, I have an image for a person named Gib Gibson, right? So, and he's giving everyone because he owes them stuff. So outside of here. Now, if you owe taxes, pay taxes. So here, it's a yellow and it looks like a taxi. So taxi, taxes, that's the image. So I'm paying the taxi driver because I owe him. So if you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, so image for rev is I'm, he's revving this car, the taxi car. He's revving it. He got paid, he's revving to get out of there. So if revenue, then revenue. If respect, so this guy right here is respecting this guy revving his car. So if respect, then respect, and then he honors him. If honor, then honor. I just, you know, that's the last word I just remember, if honor, okay? Here, let no debt remain outstanding. So I use this whole section. So let no debt. So debt is a credit card. I don't got any credit card debt, but that's just the image that I have. Let no debt. So I just imagine there's a credit card on the floor, right? Remain outstanding, except this X. So I'm Xing the continuing debt. So continue is always like a button for me. So for a game, continuing debt to love one another. I imagine these people right here loving one another, okay? So let no debt remain outstanding, except the continuing debt to love one another. On the other side, I imagine a Hoover vacuum, Someone with the Afro vacuuming on this side. For whoever loves others, and then others will be an otter, right, has fulfilled the law. So they're fulfilling the law, okay? Uh, Judge Dredd for me is a law, so maybe I'll imagine him and I'm filling him up. I don't know, something like that. Now, this one is long, but it's very easy to memorize this because I'm creating a story, okay? So, so for the commandments, I'm going to use these guys. It looks like an ice cream truck. Ice cream cart. So out of the ice cream cart, they're pulling out uh, the Ten Commandments. For the commandments, and then uh, on the side, there's going to be a tree, right? Why? You shall not commit adultery. So there's a tree here. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. So I imagine this lady trying to murder, murder the tree. He murders it. Now she's got to get away. she got to steal a car. So she's going to steal this car. And this car is a co co Corvette for covet, right? And then we're going back here. And any other commandment, he busts out all the other commandments, are summed up in this world. You shall love your neighbor. These are neighbors. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Oh, by the way, this is ESV because I memorized it a while ago. So I'm, I think I'm going back to ESV for a bunch of these. Oh, maybe these just these two. Oh, it says ESV. Okay. So right here. So for the commandments... You shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, right? And any other commandments are summed up in this word, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Next, love does no wrong to neighbor. So love is here. So I imagine like a heart on top of here, and it does no wrong to a neighbor. So this, in this case, I imagine my neighbor. Um, I know the guy, so he's always my neighbor, right? So I'm imagining I'm loving him. Love does no wrong because I don't do wrong to a, a neighbor. And then therefore, so I imagine these pores, um, uh, these things, columns looking like forks. So therefore, love is fulfilling of the law. So once again, right here, I'm filling up Judge Dredd because he's the law. Okay. And do this. So on top of here, uh, I, I imagine an ant saying, do this. An ant, do this right? Understanding. So I'm standing under this and I have a present with a clock in it. So understanding the present time and then sitting on this table is a slumber part, like a slumber party and they're waking up. The hour, you can maybe use the hourglass, the hour has already come, already is already from, what was it? Oh man, it's so late. I can't remember these. Uh, Chin Carey? He goes already then. Anyway, the hour has already, already, comb is come, or come is comb.
for you to wake up from your slumber. So in the end, I'm just imagining people sleeping here and they're waking up from their slumber party. Because, be in a cause, sitting on here, our salvation, salvation is the movie, salvation um, is near now. So it's very near. When we first believe, when is a hand, we playing we, and then he's uh, he has a first place trophy and he's writing, gonna write a B on a leaf. Okay, um, kind of creating a story like that. Okay, and do this, understand the present time. Uh, the hour, oh, yeah, the hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumber because uh, our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. Okay, next one 12. I'm going to use this Christmas tree thing, right? The night is nearly over. So the star kind of helps because this member, okay, star comes out at night, right? But I or, I just imagine the night. So in this case, I'm going to imagine the Dark Knight Batman, right? And then Nino, I, there's a character named Nino. So that will be for N-I-N-O. So the night is nearly over. The day is almost here. So let us put aside the deeds of darkness. So... Uh, lettuce, there's a, this, there's a, in this tree, there's lettuce, right? So lettuce, and you're putting it aside, the deeds of darkness, darkness is, just imagine, you know, uh, the Batman, right? Uh, the Dark Knight, okay? And then put on, on the floor, there's an armor of light, that's just, so basically, you're putting on aside the deeds of darkness, and you're putting on the armor of light, okay? That's the image I got. Verse 13, let us behave. So on top of here is a lettuce again. And then this thing looks like a beehive. And then decently or decently. And it's descending down this guy's face, right? As in the daytime. So on here, I have daytime nightfall on the drums. As in, or maybe you could think of a donkey in uh, the daytime. Maybe a donkey is drinking. So that's as in the daytime. Now here, this road right here leads to a concert hall down here, okay? So I just imagine not is a not like a not not in carousing and drunking and and drunkenness right. So carousing I just I don't know why but I just thought of these two guys having fun and not having fun but you know they're drunk right. So they're stumbling to this area right. Not in carousing and drunkenness. So they're carousing and then drunkenness. Not in sexual immorality and debauchery. So sexual immorality is the number six for sex, six, sexual, sexual immorality here. And the number six is doing archery, debauchery, and he's hitting this sign. So sexual immorality and debauchery, not in dissension and jealousy. So D, J, D and J, right? So DJ. So I imagine down here, there's a DJ. So that's my image. And then D is for dissension. J is for jealousy. 14, rather, so now I'm using this light post right here. So rather, I'm lathering the light post. Clothe yourself with the Lord Jesus Christ. I got it. Lord Jesus Christ is Darth Vader for me for Lord, remember? And then JC, I got this from, oh, I guess, I think I think her name was Rachel. Sorry if it's not, but I got that image. Lord J is for juice and crackers. C for crackers. She used it for Christ Jesus. You know, she's thinking communion, I think, uh, for crackers and juice. But I was like, hey, I could just, because I my image for Christ Jesus is C.J. Craig, right? But now I have, I couldn't find a good image for Jesus Christ. I imagine J.C. or whatever. I know a guy named J.C. But I like Darth Vader eating juice and crackers. It's just a good image for me. So close yourself, and then you just imagine you're dressed as Darth Vader eating juice and crackers. Right on top of here. And then on here is an ant. And then a donut, and then think is ink, about is a boat, how to gratify the desires of the flesh. So they're just imagine, okay, how do I you know, gratify the desires of the flesh, which for me is being hungry, okay, and just for this. All right, so that's it, verse 14. All right, so um, let me unshare. And also, if you noticed here, I got this from Steve who's part of the Bible Memory Gold group. It took him a long time. To, oh, he, he said it, what, seven hours, I think? I, I can't remember. Sorry, Steve, if I messed it up. But 
you know, um, Josh Summers got one. He posted it, and I was like, I want one. I love this. Store the Bible in your heart, not on a shelf. Amen. I love it. He, and then I asked him. He made it. You know, um, it was a good price. He's not selling it, like, but he did it as a favor. And he'll do it for people in the Bible memory community if you want. That He said that. So I'm just saying it. Um, but, hey, man, this is great. I love it. It's handmade. He carved it himself. It's good. Oh, well, it's good. So, anyways. Um, okay. Time to recite. All right. So, uh, Romans. Oh, anyways. I love this. Man, I struggled with Romans 13, especially during COVID. Yeah, I got to share this. I struggled with this during COVID. Dude, there was, you know, don't meet, all that. You got to do this. You got to do that. Um, even before that, I kind of struggled, but it really came it, in like during COVID. So I struggled with Romans 13. I struggled with uh, 1 Timothy 2. You know, we pray for our rulers, pray for the kings and queens. Why? Because we're called to do that, you know, and then uh, live quiet lives. And then 1 Peter 2 also, I struggle with. They all say, basically say the same thing, you know, submit to the, uh, the government for the Lord's sake. So how much, like, hey, if the government is doing wrong, then do I still submit to it? And in my opinion, I was like, yes, because that's what the Bible says. But it bothered me because, yeah, in a sense, you're like, really? Like, even if they do wrong things? Because clearly the Bible says they're here to do, uh, to uphold the what good is, right? Who creates good? God does. He's, he's a, you know, you have to be objected. He, he makes what is good and what's not, right? So my pastor did a ser is doing a sermon on First Peter 2, and he's at this section. Um, he made it very clear to me. So I'm going to put that sermon on the link, and he, yeah, it was great. Like, he give, gives on, okay, what, like, yes, we're here to submit to the government, but not unconditionally, right? We're not here to rebel or anything like that. But we, we, as much as possible, we do, right? And when do we don't? Does that make sense? And it says slate, sorry. When do we don't? He gives out these, like, five hints, hints or advices, right? Do we do what, um, uh, if, if the government tells us to do something that the Bible clearly condemns, right? Or do we do something, uh, don't do, tells us not to do something that, Bible God requires us to do right so those two and then if that you know then if we if it's not in scripture you know then we can go to wisdom like what okay what can we look at through scripture to give us wisdom on what to do um we said church history look at church history what did the other church do uh look at uh then then you keep just going down and go okay what is your pastor saying what are the church leaders saying? So um, it made it very clear to me. Like, oh, anyways, I'm put, you know, watch it. I'll, I'll put the link. And I, I, I love how he set it up. He makes it clear. Anyways, here we go. Romans, uh, where am I at? Uh, Romans 13. So um, let every, let everyone be subject to the governing authorities for there is no authority except that which God has established. Um, the authority uh, that the authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, whoever re rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted, and those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers hold no terror for those who do good, do, do do right, but for those who do wrong. Do you want to be free from fear for the from the one in authority? Then do what is right, and you will be commended. Uh, for the authority is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for the ruler does not bear the sword for no reason. They are servants of God. They are God's servant. Um, uh, agents of wrath to bring punishment on the wrongdoers. 
Therefore, it is necessary to submit to the authorities, not only because of possible punishment, bam, but also as a matter of conscience. Verse 6, uh, that is also why you pay taxes. Um, the, for the authorities are God's servants who give their full time to governing. Give to everyone what you owe them. If you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, then revenue. If respect, then respect. If honor, then honor. Uh, let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another. For whoever loves others uh, has fulfilled the law. Um, for the commandments, you shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal Oh, wait, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandments um, are summed up in this word, uh, love your neighbor as yourselves. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is a fulfillment of the law. And do this, uh, understanding uh, the present time uh, the hour it, the hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumbers because our salvation is near is now near nearer yeah is now nearer than when we first believed uh, the night is nearly over the day is almost here so let us Put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us behave decently as in the daytime, not in carousing or drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and debauchery, not in dissension and jealousy. Rather, close yourself with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of, your, of the flesh. Okay. So I think I did okay. Um, it's good enough. But yeah, I uh, hope this helps. Uh, watch the sermon in the description. Uh, go to go to the BAM, uh, Jody Brown's BAM system. Check out what he does. He's a good artist. He draws stuff. Unfortunately, I can't draw anything, so you just get to see what I, I what I <laughs> what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, um, hope this helps and encourages you. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye bye.